Welcome back to the tutorial series. Now, the, the next step we're gonna do is if, if you noticed, the animations for the character doesn't really fit because he's got this thick strands of cloth which doesn't really feel like a cloth, more like a wooden plank. So, they're up in the air, so, so if you want to achieve something like this then you need to set up clots in <laughs> it's pretty easy if you ask me I've done it for this one particular mesh so you could try it for a different one and yeah let's <coughs> Okay, I'm opening up the mesh straight away. We just go into edit character BP. Go into mesh. Open the mesh up. You'll find it over here. And since this one already had cloth sim set up, I'm gonna go in for a different version. Look how the cloth seems very strict. This is something we can fix right away. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is make sure your physics bounds are accurate. And since this character mostly w like hovers in the air, we don't really need a lot of arm uh, physics bounds and stuff for the face as well. Yeah, this one we might need because we need to like set the character flying when he gets hit with the hammer so that's one thing we need and the torso part or as it says pelvis was like as big as the character itself so that kind of like pushes away all the cloth that you have over here which you don't want so that's why I scaled it down so that way it doesn't impede with any of the cloth and like for need basis we can add more bones uh, physics bones in there which possibly we could use later for example if you you have this one other physics bone set up for the hand so if he for example grabs or does a push uh, sort of animation and you want the character to go flying or like just get pushed to the ground or something or ragdoll you need this physics volume over here so yeah once that's out of the way you can go back to <coughs> the mesh and you see there's n it says no clotting data you can go over to section selection and kind of hover over your character <coughs> if you click on different parts see it kind of gives you a different result if you check the highlight for now it gives you a highlight that has this outer piece of cloth the inner one but not of what's in the center and if you go ahead and click on a different part of the mesh it should have a yeah for example this one the big metal chainmail style armor down below that's a different part and the suspend pendulum looking things they're different sub mesh so I'm just gonna show you two of these so you can set up the rest on your own <coughs> should be fairly easy now one thing that you have to keep in mind is that we have to paint it I mean, we're gonna do some vertex painting so w what you need to do is you need to make sure you paint all the necessary LODs so for in my case if you're like 5-10 meters away from the character like this far you'll be seeing LOD and if you're like as far as probably 30 meters then you'd be seeing LOD1 and LOD2 anything after that 
so I'm not really sure how Paragon's LODs distance switch but I think you can it's safe to say you can paint 0 and 1 and cloth sim would work fine if you go too far then you'll see those plank like cloth things again so I'm just gonna go click on LOD 0 <coughs> go into clothing and yeah activate cloth paint before I do that I'm gonna like for example I choose this sub mesh and I say create clothing data from section I'll say cloth outer or zero cloth outer which is same as saying for LOD zero we're doing outer cloth this one we can call inner cloth and this one we can call it torso so once we got that working we're gonna activate cloth paint see how it shows you all the pink vertices and triangles polys yeah so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just you can adjust your paint brush radius over here and it's just like painting any uh, landscape with materials so you just need to make sure what you think is a cloth is white in color if you have a whole lot of polys in there then it's gonna be really like time consuming yeah. and it's gonna take a whole lot of time to load the level yeah that's one thing I couldn't I, I don't know how to get around let's just paint this one setup and I'm gonna show you how to make make it work yeah now that that's painted it should be <coughs> yeah you have this save layer for the outer cloth so you just select it again and apply clothing data and yeah you should apply it it should not take a whole lot of time but yeah works I'm just gonna wait it out yeah there you go <laughs> it's compiling shaders again so yeah as you can see it looks a lot more realistic now so if you forget to paint some part of it then it's quite possible you have some cloth sticking out like sore thumb for example if you forget to paint this section of it like the one that goes over his arm it's still going to be like a plank till it's pink because the animations control those and yeah uh, when I said how your physics volumes affect your clothing data yeah it's because it's your f physics volumes are pushing against the cloth as you can see we have a we have a big volume capsule for the hammer which is why you're seeing this pattern as you can see it's a nice round capsule radius looking shape so yeah now that that's set up y you can just use this mesh and if you're an LOD zero which means you're within 10 meters of the character you should be able to look at the cloth sim just fine just like what you saw when we started the level now I got him to attack continuously in the normal swing pattern because I just went into his defaults and toggle is attacking so we're not using a whole lot of trail particles for the hammer because if we do that we're kind of moving away from horror and more into 
action slash thriller. So this, I think, if we put it in a dark environment, it should look pretty great. And as you can see, there's some kind of like I would say uh, the clots in isn't doing really well after he does his like ground pound so I think if we switch to a dark environment it's gonna be really like hide those details would be hidden so yeah there you go this was a short video hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe see you guys next video